morning. It is the last day of the two sessions. The first session of the 14th National People's Congress concludes today. And after the closing ceremony, the newly appointed Chinese Premier Li Jiang will meet the press. And I'm really, really excited about that. This is my first time attending a Premier's press conference. The conference will be held in what we call the Golden Hall. It is the main hall on the third floor of the Great Hall of the People. The chandeliers are so beautiful. I've only seen it on the news. It's really, really magnificent and ornate. It serves as an important place for the state and party leaders to meet with uh, foreign dignitaries and also a place for uh, ambassadors from various countries to submit their credentials. Very auspicious traditional Chinese patterns, red and gold. I remember last year before the opening of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games, President Xi Jinping held a banquet here to welcome the international dignitaries. And look, the journalists and cameramen are setting up their equipment. It's also where the country's highest level conferences are held, so you can consider it as a window for releasing China's major political and economic policies. From one aspect, it has witnessed China's development progress, so that's why it's also known as the first hall of the Great Hall of the People. See the reporters and cameramen are getting ready, setting up everything. Over the past three years, journalists could only raise questions online from the media center. Now face to face is back and I'm so excited. The presser will begin soon. It has become common practice for the premier of the state council to meet with journalists to answer questions after the closing of the National People's Congress. This can be traced back to 1988, when then-premier and three vice-premiers attended a press conference. At each year's press conference, China's economic development trends, RMB exchange rates, and international cooperation and relations are among the hottest topics for the reporters. He said that the government should not only focus on GDP index, but should focus more on the issues that are happening in people's daily lives, such as housing, medical services, education, employment, and the ecological environment. It is because the government is people's government. The premier answered 10 questions, including economic rebound measures, the prospect for Hong Kong, the cow, and Taiwan issues. And he also mentioned the goals and priorities for the new government which is to realize the blueprint painted at the 20th CPC National Congress. The presser lasted one and a half hours. Now the journalists are taking every second to finish their report. So this is my coverage for the two sessions this year. Thank you so much for watching and now I need to go catch my bus. Ooh, light is off.